Hey, it's John. And today I'd like to talk about investing in personal growth, self-development learning, and really mm. just making sure that money you're spending is going towards the best investment and asset possible, which is, of course, yourself and your education. And we're talking about this today because something I hear a lot, especially among the online business community, is people say, I would invest in myself. I would invest in my business. I would invest in an education, but I can't afford it. I don't have the money. If I had the money, then I'd invest. Now, the problem with this is it's absolutely no different from saying I would go to the gym if I had six pack abs. But because I don't have six pack abs, I'm not going to the gym. Exactly the same concept, because we have to pay the price first. Whether you want the perfect body or the fabulous results from your business, there's some kind of investment required prior. Be that the workouts or the upgrading of your skills. This is just the way things work. If you want the results, first you have to pay the price. If you want to get the money, if that's your goal, to increase your income, you want a higher quality lifestyle and want to achieve your financial goals that ultimately lead to freedom, spending time with who you love and doing what you want to do instead of what your boss tells you to do, if that's the goal you have for yourself, then you have to get rid of the mindset of I can't because I don't have the money. Not having the money is not the real reason you don't or you can't. Please discard that belief. Stop saying I can't because I can't afford it. Instead, start saying, how can I afford it? How can I do X? How can I achieve Y? Despite not having the money in my bank account. That's the shift right there from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And until you make that shift, you are not going to improve your finances, your wealth, your lifestyle, your circumstances. You are not going to develop an abundant mindset so long as you are still running that program, that dialogue of I can't afford it. You have to get rid of that. If someone wants something badly enough, and let's use the gun to the head analogy, if you had a gun to your head and you had to find a way to come up with the money that you say you can't invest in yourself, in your growth, in your development, if you had a gun to your head and you had to find that money, you would find that money because you must because you have no choice, because it's do or die. And if you could find the money in that situation, but you are not finding the money now, it has nothing to do with you not being able to afford it. It's simply because at the moment, you are not willing to get uncomfortable enough to move forward and achieve your goals. Now that might sound harsh, but it's actually the truth. If we are not willing to get uncomfortable enough to find the money, to do whatever it takes. It's simply not a priority for us. It's not that we can't afford it, it's just not important enough. And when you can acknowledge that and take responsibility for it, the story of I can't afford it will stop controlling you and then you can start doing something about it. When you let go of the story, it stops controlling you. Remember that. I hope this helps. I look forward very much to seeing you in the next video and thank you for watching.